Hey, hello. You're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick. A couple minute riff on IT and IT security. You know, being that this is generally a video series recorded in traffic, you may thought, why hasn't Wolf talked about network traffic? Right? I mean, this is a normal thing. We're stuck. We're not moving. Isn't that kind of like a denial of service? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. And I think I've lost a significant amount of credibility with uh, with people for not having covered this very important topic. So today, tip for you, consider network traffic denial of services. I'm going to look at uh, TCP and, uh, and UDP reflection. And the reason why I want to talk about both of those is a normal way of blocking them is load balancers. But people go, wait a minute, you're telling me with the load balancer you could block denial of service. Isn't it simply just adding more systems to the problem? Right? Are you just saying, well, if a denial of service attack could take down my one server, add a load balancer and add five servers behind it? That seems like a lot of capacity that's just going to sit there until you get blocked or get, you know, uh, flooded. That's not necessarily the case. Load balancers work to defeat two of the more common denial of service attacks. Uh, one is TCP half open, right? Because you can have. X number of TCP connections. And the way that works is I'm talking to you and I say, hey, and you're like, what? And I reply like, hey, how's it going? And I've completed that connection. If I instead go, hey, and you go, what? And I don't say anything, you're there waiting, right? And you're gonna wait for a certain amount of time before you move on. In much the same way with computers, if I do a TCP connection to you, uh, and you acknowledge that connection, but I never complete the connection, you wait and you can fill up all those queues for waiting and then no additional TCP IP connections can be made. TCP half open to now service stack. Next one is UDP reflection. Uh, we see this a lot with DNS or time servers where we're like, um, I want to know this, tell that guy. And it was like, hey, that guy. And you get enough people talking to that guy and now that guy can't hear anything because everyone's yelling at him. UDP reflection attacks are generally with to you to have you send traffic to someone else. So the original request is not necessarily sourced from um, from a person, and usually there's not even a UDP connection on the box, anyways. So you're just flooding it off, and it's like, hey, you're getting all sorts of traffic, and there's no services less than the UDP. So what does this have to do with load balancing? I'm not talking about putting in place tons and tons of servers just in case you get blasted by these things. Modern load balancers would do two main things. One, they'll ensure full TCP IP connections before passing it on to the server. And two, they will prevent UDP traffic from being reflected to the server unless the server is listening for UDP. So what ends up happening with these systems is that load balancer actually cuts off all the traffic before it even gets to you, right? So you try denial of service, hey, talk to that guy. No, not gonna happen. You try denial of service, hey you, what? Not gonna happen. Load balancer stops it, and the web server can go on about its business. That's why I need load balancers, or firewalls in front of your, your web servers, that's the reason that they're able to stop denials. All right, that's it, have a good weekend.